Did Flavius Josephus invent Christianity? Did Flavius Josephus lie to the world and create a religion to control the mass? Did Flavius Josephus himself disguise himself as Josephus and also known as the Istrian, the first Roman Jew Istrian? But according to the scholarly articles, Flavius Josephus is actually the Jesus himself. Peter, Apostle Luke, and, and his real name is called Arius Calpino Piso. He was the man that created the ideology of Arianism. Arianism is the Christology religion created by Arius Piso. So in 325 A.D. and the first Council of Nicaea, Arius Piso proposed his Arianism Christology, but uh, the Romans, the pagan religions, they never agreed, and that is when they put aside the idea or the ideology of Arianism Christology. See? and created the God Trinity. That is how the Christianity was born. It is better that we know a little bit about history so we can talk about it. So Arianism is after the name of Arius Calpino Piso. He is the inventor of Arianism ideology. So now let's look at how did this came about. When the last stronghold of Maccabees were held at the Mount of Masada, that is when everything started after the Romans beat the last stand of Maccabees. For the truth, Arius Piso was not even a Jew. He was a Greek. He is the Greek himself, greek Romanian. So how did Arius Piso claim himself to be Jew? There is a lie we have been told over and over for the last 2,000 years. So let's look at some of the things that contradict in everything, which Arius Piso claimed himself to be the rebel leader of the Jews, and he was the one that started the revolt in Jerusalem. That is far-fetched from the truth, and truth must be told. Arius Piso is the Jesus Christ himself. He is the Apostle Peter and Luke himself. He is the Josephus Flavius, and his real name is Arius Calpino Piso, a Roman senator who were posted to land of Judea to rule over Judea. So that is how the history started. So let's see who is the real gangster. The real gangster is Arius Piso. So from these two pictures here, are we worshiping Arius Piso or Jesus Christ, also known as Arius Piso himself? It is time we need to tell the story so that we can know what has happened in the 21st century. And that is how we will unhead this. Arius Piso is a.k.a. Apostle Peter, a.k.a. Apostle Luke, and he is known as the first Roman Jew historian, and he is also known as Flavius Josephus. And in the Bible, the book of Luke, he is also known as the Joseph of Arimathea. He is Arius Calpino Bishop. He is the first Pope of Rome. He is the inventor of both Judaism and Christianity. Christianity was created first by Arius Piso, and his suggestion was not followed, that's why he created the Judaism religion. You must know that the New Testament was written by Arius Piso. Old Testament was written after. That's the fact you must know, and that you will compare with the history of the Hyksos and then the New Egyptian kingdom, because Arius Piso talks about Hyksos and the Parova Atmos who defeated Parawa Atmos the third who defeated the Hyksos and he planted that as in connection with that story he created the story of the Exodus of Israelites. This man was a mathematician and a very, very clever genius who fooled the entire world. He is the father of both Christianity and Judaism. That's what you need to know.